Hi friends, we are going to make some today in the waffle maker egg. So I have got here capsicum, this onion and some spinach chopped. I've got here four eggs which we are going to just whisk it and mix it in that veggie. Other, whatever the veggies you like, you can make it, you can add it, you can even add some chicken slices if you like. So just slightly mix it after whisking, just add that in the bowl where all the vegetables are. You can add coriander, you can add chili ginger whatever you like but I'm keeping it simple so by the time I'll put my waffle maker on and here we have got all that mixed in this we are going to add salt, salt again according to your taste. So I'm adding two and a half teaspoon, some little bit chili powder and a tiny, tiny bit of cumin powder, black pepper powder. Mix this first with the all the veggies, the egg. You can add cheese if you like or once it is cooked you can put some grated cheese on the top and fold it. But if you want to add meat just add in the mixture and then cook. I'm going to add a little bit of cream in here. It's to give a little creamy flavor, rich flavor. So not too much. Just a tablespoon. Yeah. And so we don't have to add any more ghee or a butter or anything in it because it's got a cream. But I'm going to brush the waffle maker with the butter. Our waffle maker is warm. And now brush the butter. Just not too much. And now we will pour the in each of the section we'll pour a little by little and let them set everywhere Just see all the gaps are being full. Fill it if they are not. If your kids, they don't like spinach, you can skip it and add what they like it.
this will be enough for two people so I just took four eggs in here and now I'm going to put it on two so a little bit higher let it little set and then we are going to cover it the top you can see the steam have started coming so it is cooking the sides are bubbling and cooking you can serve this with any salad or tomato sauce whatever your family or you like it but it will be a enough omelette you know you don't need anything side if you even add meat in it so it will be a full meal you can make it for the breakfast or you can make it for your lunch brunch on the off days weekends when you are don't want to cook too much you can do these kind of dishes we are doing this because as soon as i'll put the cover they can come out the egg so that's why i'm letting them to cook the side and then we will cover so you can see now the sides are almost almost cooked so i'm going to so let me just a little bit put a butter it doesn't get stick and cover it as soon as you will cover see how the steam has started coming but don't worry it's because cooking that's why the steam is coming so let it cook two minutes and then we are going to check just slowly press it so it get pressed and make some mark too my god see the steam coming but not to worry Let's open and check. Yeah, it's all done. You can see that side is a little bit not done. So I'll make it. But if you like like this, you can take them out. But I'm going to press a bit and check that that side is also done. Same as this side. yeah it's very satisfying and i like it let's take them off see both side is nicely cooked and if you want you can cut and serve so that's what i am going to do but let me put the second one Put it on the lower and then add our mixture. Just press them evenly. The sides and vegetables are not there, so I'm going to just add the side more. Just 
fold them, all of it. And there we go. Now let this cook a little bit, same as the last one we did. And then we are going to close it. Yeah, guys our waffle omelette is ready like my page share with your friends press the bell icon so you get the notification when i post the new videos thank you